Hey there guys, so Ben Davison, Tyson Fury's trainer, has hit back at John Fury, Tyson Fury's father, about claims that Ben Davison could be ruining Tyson Fury's career. This is what he had to say. John is Tyson's dad, so you have to respect that, and his emotions were probably running high. I think it was said that the team will cost Tyson Fury his career, but this team saved Tyson Fury's career. It's a shame that that is forgotten so quickly. I am not going to get into a back and forth. I had a chat with Tyson about it and it's just a shame those comments were made. Not too long ago Tyson was never going to box again and he was close to taking his own life and now he is in this position and has had one fight that has not gone his way. The performance could have been cleaner and there could have been smarter work but it was a solid performance. It's just a shame. I am fully aware that one minute you are the best thing since sliced bread and then the next thing you're not. Boxing is fickle. Maybe John has an issue with a couple of things. He was probably worried throughout the fight and I can understand that. He was probably panicking and the trainer is always the first line of fire. I think this team has done a good job in and outside the ring and I think John might have been just concerned and frustrated. So there we have it. Very respectful from Ben Davison. Now remember Ben Davison is 26 years old. He's a young man still and he seems to have a wise head on young shoulders. So Ben Davison has handled this well and he handled it the best way he could. The last thing he wants to do is get into a back and forth with Tyson Fury's father because they are a very close family and obviously Ben Davison considers himself almost a part of the family. He said himself he is very close to that family. So there is no reason why there needs to be some sort of back and forth on the social media. It just needs to be kept within the team. It was a shame that those comments were made, as Ben Davison said, but they have been made now, it's out in the public, but hopefully it doesn't cause too much hassle for the team because I believe Tyson Fury does have a good team around him. And like Ben Davison said, without the team, then possibly Tyson Fury would not be even fighting right now and who knows where he would be mentally. So boxing has saved Tyson Fury, but the team helped get him back on track. Now, obviously you can understand John Fury's concerns because that is his son and he could not fly to America because obviously his incarceration means that he cannot get over to the US because they will not allow him into the country as of yet. But they tried to get him in, but he couldn't. But obviously he can't be there with his son. And John Fury is a big boxing fanatic. He fought himself and he knows a lot about the game. So naturally he wants to be there in Tyson Fury's corner right there with him, but he couldn't be. He felt powerless and that's probably why he reacted in that way and made those comments. As I said before, I believe that Ben Davison and his team have done a good job and probably have saved the career of Tyson Fury. And I don't believe that Tyson Fury will forget that. Ben Davison has also said that Tyson Fury did not set the world alight when he fought Christian Hammer before Vladimir Klitschko. He did not set the world alight when he fought Pianetta before he fought Wilder. So... I mean, going into the Wilder fight, people are concerned about Tyson Fury and say that he needs to change his team in order to win that fight. That's not the case. Tyson Fury done extremely well in the first fight, and that was after losing all that weight. Now, obviously, there was some more experience in the corner, like Freddie Roach, and perhaps they need to bring someone else in. But I think that Tyson Fury's trainer needs to remain Ben Davison. They have a good working relationship, and Ben Davison understands his fighter, and Tyson Fury understands his trainer. And you need that kind of trust between a fighter and a coach, so that should not change. But if they want to bring in some extra help, like Freddie Roach, I don't think that will happen again after last time. But anyway, someone like that with a bit more experience, then that would be a good idea. Just having a little bit more experience in there. But ultimately, I think Ben Davison was giving Tyson Fury some good advice in the corner, and I don't think he's bad for Tyson Fury's career. I actually think that Ben Davison is good for Tyson Fury's career. He seems to be able to get Tyson Fury motivated, and he seems to be able to keep him on track. So that is the main thing for Tyson Fury. If Tyson Fury is in the right place mentally, then he can be the best heavyweight out there. But he just needs to be in that right place, and I think that Ben Davison can get him there. We will see in the future, time will tell. But hopefully the Wilder fight next, as long as Wilder doesn't go ducking and diving again, hopefully that will happen next. And sue me for predicting that Tyson Fury stops Deontay Wilder within the distance. But anyway guys, what are your thoughts on this? Ben Davison responding to John Fury. Drop your thoughts in the comments below, click the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.